Hello friends! Today we will be reading the book Anytime, Any Place, Any Prayer by Laura Wiffler, illustrated by Catalina Everci. Many years ago, two people lived with God in a beautiful garden. They were Adam and Eve, and they were friends with God. They could talk with him about every thought they had, every question they wondered, every feeling they felt. They told him anything, anytime. Then something happened. They chose not to trust and obey God anymore. Now people couldn't be with God, but they could still talk with him. Talking with God is called prayer. Prayer was sometimes hard. People didn't know what to pray or didn't want to pray. God kept reminding his people that he wanted them to talk with him about anything, anytime, any place. So they prayed. When they felt their love for God so much, they thought their hearts might burst. When they wanted something so badly, it was all they could talk about. When they knew they had sinned and needed forgiveness. When they needed help to do the right thing. God's people prayed many times, millions and billions of times. Until one day, God the Father sent his son Jesus to earth. Jesus invited people to be his friends. Because he was God, Talking with him was like being back in the garden. It was awesome. And because Jesus was a man, he understood his friends' feelings and their questions about living in a world spoiled by sin. One day, Jesus told his friends that he had to leave this world. Jesus told them not to be afraid. Jesus promised to send God's Spirit to come and live in them so that they could be closer to God than ever. The Spirit would be with them all, all of the time, everywhere they went. You can pray about anything. You can tell God every thought you have, every question you wonder, every feeling you feel. You can pray for a friend who's sick. You can pray after a dream you had, or to say thank you for the, your food, about adventures you want to go on, about what to do with your new ninja moves. Most of all, you can pray for God's help to love the things he loves and obey the things he says. If you are really sad or things are really bad and all you feel like you can do is groan and say, Ugh, the Spirit will know exactly what you need and He will pray for you. You can pray anytime, any place, in the car in the morning, at the playground, in the bedroom, in your bathroom, by yourself, with your family, with a friend. Someday Jesus will return and his friends will live with God in his perfect and beautiful world forever. We will talk with God face to face, just like in the garden. Until then, we can talk with God anytime, any place, any prayer. Why not do it right now?